Top of the morning, everybody. <clears throat> TGIF. Another morning we here, right? Even though Frank Lucas, they said he compromised his street principles, he always said the loudest person in the room is the weakest, right? And I say this to say what? I see a lot of people lately with BMWs, Benzes, and stuff like that, right? And when people are driving all these cars and these trucks, and a lot of people got new cars, just period, in the five boroughs. A lot of people is driving these cars and stuff. And you can see it in their character by the way they drive. With the with the with the with the with the aggression and everything. It's like a form of arrogance, right? I'ma tell you the, the, the biggest joke ever, and y'all and people ain't in tune. The reason why Donald Trump and all of them is giving uh, the the government is giving out all this free money, stimulus money. People's getting 800 a week unemployment, and they giving dudes $1,200 free money um, for the stimuluses, and they letting dudes lease cars and finance cars for the low and everything. The reason why they doing that is because everything is being liquidated, and what I mean by liquidated is this. The economy is no more. We at the end of the economy. At the end of the economy, at the end of the economy, what the fuck she talking about? China and Russia combined their money, right? They don't use U.S. currency no more. The U.S. dollar is super down. So, around the world, the American dollar is no longer number one. It ain't even in the top five. And it's not on it. The American dollar is like polluted now. It's like, it's like, it's like a fake nigga that's not honored amongst real niggas, right? America did so much bullshit when they was in power in the, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. When they was a world power, they did so much evil and so much grimy shit to people. Now, everything is coming back to America, right? Every empire gets their turn to rule. Every empire gets their turn to rule. America's rule is up. It's China's turn. And it might be China and Russia's turn because they both strong and they move militant. You know, Russia got infinite oil. China, you know, make a lot of the technology and, you know, they the leading, um, they the leading um, country and all that when it comes to cameras, face recognition, you know, monitorization, you know, anything technology, chipping, anything. China's number one, right? And then remember, Japan didn't forget that we bombed them during Hiroshima, right? So every year how we celebrate 9-11, Japan celebrates the Hiroshima shit. So that's always like a yearly reminder, right? And Japan is superseding us in technology and everything too, right? When a person bullies everybody, the saying goes, my enemy's enemy is my best friend. So America bullied a lot of countries when they was in power and they was on top. And all these people who secretly don't like America is now plotting against America, right? And America's gonna be, America already is, it ain't gonna be. America's a big warehouse, it's a big prison camp. Our own government just saved their ass from getting murdered or whatever, sold us. It's collateral damage. And the correct word and term is called sovereignty debt. So sovereignty debt is sovereignty debt is when I owe you and I no longer can pay you in money. So now I sell you valuable shit. When I sell you, I give you valuable shit in exchange. I might give you my mother's wedding ring. I might give you um or authentic uh, antique furniture that I got or different shit like that, right? Shit of the essence, right? So, um, America couldn't no longer pay these countries that they owe with finances. So sovereignty debt is they sold them Las Vegas. They sold them the Empire State Building. They sold them World Trade Center. And they sold them any 
architectural structure or building that was of value to them. They even sold them land. So China owns a great majority of these countries, I mean states in America, these cities and states. So you're like, how could they own the cities and the states if the country is still running the way it runs? Yeah, China pulling up, champ. This year or next year, if Biden get in the office with the Kamala, the, 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 the Koala Kamala joint, it's really going to be quiet because that's going to speed in the, um, the process. Trump is trying to hold them off, but Trump ain't going to be able to hold them off. And then Trump subliminally sold us out too because he fucking with Russia. It's inevitable. It's, it's over. It's inevitable. Y'all seen that movie Red Dawn? Loud hoopty for nothing. Hoopty, loud, on the court. Bullshit. Y'all seen the movie Red Dawn? It's going to be a piece of that and a piece of others and a piece of billion other futuristic movies we done seen. Minority Report, all type of shit. Children of Men, what happened to Monday. Yeah, all these movies combined is going to be a bunch of shit. But yeah, China and Russia own America. They pulling, they going to pull up. And it's a dark winter and I ain't trying to scare y'all. And it's going to get crazy. Um, 2021 is going to be interesting. Me personally, man, um, sometimes you got to take a loss in order to win. So maybe sometimes we got to die in order to live. <laughs> sometimes we got to die in order to live, right? Because... Even though every day above ground here is a great day, because you know we get we get another shot at breathing or being around our loved ones, there has to be a different paradigm. There has to be a better situation because here we're targeted on all aspects by the same people that y'all put y'all trust in, who's supposed to be our leaders, our our political leaders and and stuff like that. But really, they're they're. they're Really, they look at us as cattle. You know what I'm saying? Cattle, collateral, and a bunch of other stuff. But, um, don't party your life away. If you've been sitting on a project benches or on your strip for years just smoking and drinking y'all gotta like wake up like stop it that stop that shit like if y'all feel like fuck it i'm gonna just live my life and if i die i die then we'll see because you know sometimes the niggas that want to die they keep them alive and the niggas who want to stay alive they'll kill so they can uh, they can um subdue you before you clip yourself they can subdue you and um Holds you hostage and shit Or you might think you kill yourself And them niggas got technology That'll redeem you And bring your ass back So you can <laughs> So they can continue to torture you And, and make you suffer Whatever I go man Wherever I go All I'm saying is It's gonna be a rough one And a lot of y'all Is gonna be so shocked Because y'all sitting ducks Y'all sitting ducks But All these people Who got all these cars And all this jewelry And all this material stuff it's so empty inside, so they have to rely on all these mechanisms and trinkets and stuff to feel like they have some sense of worth. But inside, you can see that these people is really empty because if you take away their car, if they lose their car, their license gets suspended or stuff like that, you know, or, or without these things, they don't feel com they don't feel complete. A lot of people don't feel complete. So they hide behind these gadgets and stuff to have some type of sense of wealth. Oh, I got the BM, or I got the icy chain, I got that. I shit about to not hold no weight. And everybody's about to be on the same playing field. Guns, murder, weapons, takeover, shoot, kill, survival, eat, hunt. And we'll see where you at then, champ. Stay up like a cup of olive back of my collar crack, iron.